find the surface area of the pyramid. So the surface area of the pyramid is the area of the base and then plus the area of all the lateral faces, which are triangles. Now the base area is 12 by 12 centimeters. And that's 144 square centimeters or a centimeter squared. Now to find the area of each lateral face, we're given the height of the pyramid, but not the lateral height or the slant height. So we need to figure that out using a right triangle. Now we're given the 8, which is one of the legs of the triangle, and we know that the base length is 12 centimeters for the pyramid, so half of that is going to be 6 centimeters. So the hypotenuse here, we're going to put C for now until we solve for it. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem to solve this right triangle. It's going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared, and 6 squared is 36, 8 squared is 64, 36 plus 64 is 100, take the square root of 100, it's going to be c, and we have 10 equals c. And you may know your Pythagorean triples, you know, 6, 8, 10 to begin with, and hey, that's great, save you some time. Okay, so our slant height is 10 centimeters now. So let's find the area of one of these triangles. It's going to be 1 half, 12 centimeters, and times 10 centimeters. And you can use a calculator if you'd like to. I'll do this mentally. 1 half times 12 is 6, and then 6 times 10 is 60. So the area of a triangle, 60 square centimeters. And there are four of these triangles plus the base area for the total surface area. You're going to have 144 centimeters squared plus 4 times 60 centimeters squared. So 144 plus 4 times 60, 384. So 384 square centimeters is our total surface area of the pyramid.